Hey guys, my name's Christina and welcome back to my channel. This is a secondary video of the bedroom refresh I recently just put out and I'm gonna go into detail about the two pillows I made for this bedroom. The one being on top of my bed with the tribal pattern and the other one um, on my accent chair that is a brown woven pillow. So stick around and we'll get into those DIYs. So we'll start with the pillow on my bed because it's the easiest and it doesn't require any sewing. My inspiration was a pillow I saw on Pier One's website for about $80. And that's pretty pricey for a pillow, although that is the average for a pillow this size. Um, but since I already had this size and didn't want to get rid of it, that's why I kind of decided to update it and um, just repurpose this one by adding thick yarn and creating an interesting pattern. So using a large knitting needle, I looped in the large yarn into the existing hoops already on the pillow and just strung it through and tied a knot at each end. I also added some knots in the middle every few inches or so just to create some consistency within the, the lines. And basically just depending on the pattern you choose, you just draw out the pattern by creating these knots. So this is the final result and I really love the way it came out. It's a very simple pattern, but it really brings in a lot of drama to the bed, which I love. So the next pillow is a bit more difficult and requires a few more materials. I created this pillow out of the leftover scrap that I had from making the cowhide headboard that you see over on the wall. I started by taking a piece of canvas, the exact size that I wanted my pillow to be, and made sure I cut out two pieces, one for the top and one for the bottom. I lined up the vertical strips of hide side by side and left about an inch on each side of the pillowcase. Then I placed the other piece of canvas on top and clipped them all together in place. Then carefully I sewed along the edge of the pillowcase um, connecting both two pieces of canvas and the cow hide strips. Then I flipped up the top piece of canvas and started placing the horizontal strips over on top of the um, vertical strips. Again, I folded the canvas on top of all of the cowhide strips and clipped in place. Then I went back to the sewing machine and sewed along the lines of where I had my clips. Then I turned the canvas to the outside and started weaving the cowhide strips. I clipped them down in place and then sewed along the line, sewing all of them together. This is a little tedious because you wanna get all of the strips to be right next to each other as you sew.
Once you have the three sides sewn all together, you can flip the pillowcase inside out. And it should look something like this. Then I just stuffed it with an old pillow I already had and um, sealed it shut. Now because the cowhide is so thick, you'll probably have a really hard time sewing it shut. Um, so I used some really heavy duty fabric glue and it worked pretty well. So those are the two pillows I created for my bedroom refresh. Um, please go check out my video. I'll link it up at the top. You can see the whole transition. Um, but I'd love to hear what you think. So go ahead and like and subscribe and leave a comment and go follow me on Instagram so you can see a lot of behind the scenes stuff that I post. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.